Greetings, my name is Carrie and I'm one of the librarians here at Lemoyne College and I'm here today just to give you a quick introduction to the Lemoyne Library. In this overview, I'm going to try to tell you the most important things you need to know about our library. I'm going to cover using the library building, uh, using library resources, I'm going to talk a little bit about our personalized research assistance that's available to you, and I just want to make sure that you know how to ask for help before this tutorial ends. All right, so let's jump right in. Using the library building, on the screen you'll see the typical library hours during the semester. Um, important things to note here, Sunday through Thursday, the library is open until 2 a.m., so it's 2 in the morning. That gives you quite a quite a while to keep using the library on those days. Uh, we close at 7 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. And notice that during the week, Monday through Friday, we actually open every day at 8 a.m. And that was specifically designed to let you print things before your 8.30 classes. So don't be afraid to use that option. I do always tell people check the Le Moyne Library website for our, our most current hours. It displays our current hours when you log on, um, when you uh, navigate to our web page, you'll be able to see that. A little bit about our space, okay? So I'm going to lead with this because it's one of the most popular things about our space. Uh, we have bookable study rooms, so we have both group study rooms and individual study rooms, and we have a handful of what we call media study rooms that have DVD players in them, where you can you can actually um, be in there with a group or by yourself, whatever you need. All of them are bookable in advance. Um, in fact, you can book them, I think it's up to a month in advance, and they are very popular. So I would urge you to book them in advance if you feel like you might need to use a study room. And um, we have, throughout the library, uh, we have comfy furniture and lots of cozy little nooks where you can just, you know, get in there and get away from people, um, or, or you can be with a group, um, particularly on the first floor of the library, you can, you can be with a group and you can be working on your group projects as well. Um, just to orient you, the first floor of the library is, we do not enforce quiet there, so we, we call that like the moderate noise floor. You can talk in a regular voice, you can talk with groups. There's a computer cluster on the back of the first floor of the library where you are welcome to use computers and print. That's very popular use of the library. The second floor of the library, we do try to enforce that as more of a quiet zone, and that's where the majority of our book stacks are. So lots of books up there and lots of quiet. And I always tell students, if you go up and then towards the edges of the second floor of the library, it gets quieter and quieter. So if you're looking for maximum quiet, go to the edges of the second floor. This is just a quick picture to show you when you enter the library, boom, right in front of you will be the library services desk. You won't always be welcomed by this many student workers. <laughs> um, but this is, you know, this is our whole team of student workers that we have and there's usually only one or two of them there at the desks. But at any point while you're in the library, if you have questions, uh, concerns, anything like that, just go right to this desk and the students there can, can give you a hand. All right, so I do like to include this, what you need so that you can use the library. It's not much, <laughs> but, it, but it is this, which is your ID card. So you need your Lemoyne ID card um, for a couple of reasons. One is to swipe in and out of the library. We have card entry during certain hours, and so you would need your ID card to swipe swipe in, not out, I don't know why I said that, to swipe into the library. Um, this is the card that you use to check out physical library materials when you need to check those out. And also this card, you would need to use the number on the back of this card to access our library resources from off campus. And let me, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that screen looks like. So this is the screen when you are off campus and you're trying to use the library resources, this screen will come to you. Um, you can log in either on the left side using your Lemoyne user ID and password, or on the right side, you can use your name and the barcode from the back of your Lemoyne ID card. Either of those will log you into our system and then you will have access to all of our resources. Speaking of our resources, let's talk about what we have, right? So something that might be a little different for you um, if you're not coming from a college library is that we have um, very 
subject specific resources. Um, they are designed to support all the different majors that we have here at Lemoyne. They're powerful, they're high quality, and they're expensive. So these are not the resources that are you that you are accustomed to accessing maybe through Google. Um, those are free and these these cost a lot of money because they're really high quality resources. Um, you have access to them while you're here at Lemoyne. Um, because you pay this lovely thing called tuition, right? So that gives you access to these really marvelous library resources that you may never have access like this again in your life. So I always tell students, live it up while you're here. There's a great amount of resources at your fingertips. Um, those resources include books and ebooks. We have many, many ebooks. Um, Scholarly journal articles, magazine articles, newspaper articles, all of those essays. Uh, we have films, great collection of films. So we have both streaming films and we also have a physical DVD collection. And then we have subject specific databases so that you can find all these things, right? So um, for example, if the students are working on a biology project, I send them to a biology database not an accounting database, for example, or even marketing has different resources than accounting. So I think you can sort of see where I'm going with those that subject specific databases. All right, so this is really important to know as well. If we don't have your needed resource in our library collection, we can get it for you quite easily and quite speedily. We have two services called Connect New York and Interlibrary Loan, and that's what these services exist for. We have one staff person who works on this for us. They just fill these requests throughout the day. So it's quite a speedy and efficient process, and um, it greatly extends the content that you have access to as a Lemoyne student. So don't be shy. Point while you're here at Lemoyne, you'll probably hear about reserves. So a faculty member will say, oh, I put that on reserve for your course, or um, you might need a textbook for a course. All of those things are on reserve in the library. So on the screen in front of you right now, I'm showing you from our library webpage how you would access the reserves, get the reserves information online. Um, in the, uh, if you're in the library, you simply need to go to the library services desk and tell them what you need and they will help you access the reserves that you need. Um, just to note that we do really make an effort to have many, many, many textbooks on reserve in the library. Um, and we have, I think, almost every single one for the 102 level, 200 level courses and we're working our way up trying to buy as many as we possibly can to support you and try to bring your costs down for ha from having to have textbooks, purchase textbooks, sorry, because um, you, you have access to them in our collection while you're here as a student. Additionally, we have um, sometimes there's assigned readings for your courses, so your faculty member will put a book of essays on reserve or a particular article because they want to direct you to right to that resource. And then um, if you are a bio student or a nursing student or perhaps PA <laughs> um, or OT, we have um, for anatomy and physiology, we have all the models that you use in the classroom in your lab. We have those models in the library as well so that when you leave the lab and you still have questions, you want to take a closer look, you need to review for an exam, you can come to the library and ask for, you know, the tibia, <laughs> the ear, whatever you need, um, and you can spend some time in the library with that a model. All right, so one of the things that the librarians love to do here is to create these library research guides, and that um, these are really designed to help you get started with particular assignments and particular courses. So we have um, guides by both subjects, so like philosophy, accounting, and then we have course specific ones. So, you know, I have guides that I've created for Bio 191, Bio 192. All of the guides are really designed to just tell you, hey, if you're working on this assignment, here's the library resources that could support you for that. Um, trying to make it easier for you, give you good places to start so that you don't have to try and figure that out for yourself. Um, so when you st are starting with an assignment, this is a great first place to start. Look for a research guide for either the course or the subject um, that you are working on. Ah, Mendeley. So we have this really great resource called Mendeley that you have access to as a student at Lemoyne. Um, the official name for Mendeley is Citation Management Software 
What does that mean? You might be asking. Yeah, so this is um, designed to help you organize and save your research as you're going along and then to help you cite your, your sources when you know once you've used them in a paper or a project. So what happens is you log into Mendeley, you have your own account, you search and you can just drag stuff from your search right into Mendeley, pop it in there and you can actually even save the full PDFs in Mendeley. That's a nice feature so you can go back and see it later. Um, and then when it comes time to you know write your paper or do your project you can say oh okay Mendeley I need to, to cite these sources in MLA and it, it, will, it will help you do that. So it has the added benefit of letting you store and organize your research in one spot and then also to cite things pretty easily. A couple more things at the desk. Like these things, these are things that we, you know, students in the library find that they need and they don't have calculators. Uh, we do have iPads to loan out, adapters, those are very popular speakers, noise canceling headphones are really handy if you're, you know, you just, you gotta cut, cut, out, cut off from everything. And um, phone chargers, right? So you find yourself in a pickle, we have phone chargers, just ask for any of those things at the library services desk. And last but certainly not least, in terms of resources, we have some, we have really fun resources at the library too, okay? So we have leisure reading collection. Those are like mostly New York Times bestsellers, things that you would, you would be drawn to reading just out of interest for fun while you're here. Um, so you can pop by. These books are actually on the first floor of the library, some of the few books on the first floor of the library. And they live right next door to the new books, which are also very interesting and you can take take a look through both of those while you're on the first floor of the library see if there's anything you're interested in also on the first floor of the library are our dvds so we have a huge dvd collection we have been collecting dvds for a long time um, and we've made a really concerted effort to have fun stuff in this collection as well so we have lots of popular movies um, many tv shows you know full sets of tv shows so if you find um, yourself bored with your streaming options take a look at our dvd collection on the first floor of the library there's some good stuff there so the final thing I wanted to cover with you before we end this tutorial is that you have access to personalized research assistance as a student here at Lemoyne. On the screen in front of you, you will see our subject librarians. Um, so you'll notice that, they, that we each have a subject that we specialize in, that we can answer questions in any subject, we really can. Um, we each have a subject that we specialize in. So in my case, it's the sciences. Um, chemistry, biology, physics. I also work with gender and women's studies and the honors program. So you will most likely meet your subject librarian for your major through our personal librarian program. When you're an incoming student here at Lemoyne, we assign you a personal librarian who is typically the librarian in your field of study or your major here at Lemoyne. And um, undeclared students actually end up with me. So in case you were wondering that question. And then um, we reach out to you throughout your first year at Lemoyne here um, almost every month. And we'll say, we'll remind you that we're here. We'll ask you if you have any questions. We will um, pretty much just be offering you assistance and letting you know what, what's going on in the library, if there's anything that you need to know about in the library. Um, so that's our personal librarian program and you will most likely meet your subject librarian through that program. And then don't hesitate to be in contact with them throughout your years here at Lemoyne. That's what they're here for. <laughs> and this is also what we're here for. So librarians are here to answer your questions. We really are. So don't be shy about asking us, you know, this is so true. Ask us anywhere, anytime, whenever you need help, we love answering questions. We love helping people with their research. And we are really happy to help you be more efficient and effective as you're doing your research, right? And save you some time while you are a student here at Lemoyne. There's a lot of different ways that you can ask a question. So on the previous screen, I showed you the subject librarians. You could reach out to your specific subject librarian via email 
or you can make an appointment with your specific subject librarian if you wanted to go that route. You can also, from our website, this, this, this is straight from our website, the screen in front of you, you can ask, you can do a live chat with a librarian um, whenever you have a question. That's available 24 7. That's staffed by Lemoyne librarians and um, other Jesuit college librarians. You can ask by email um, and the on-call librarian will respond to you right away. You can text us a question and the on-call librarian will respond to you right away. You can make an appointment with any librarian by clicking on ask us by appointment. And then we do have FAQs which try to sort out some of the library stuff for you as well. So all those options are there for you to ask us questions um, and I can't encourage you enough to do that because that's what we're here for. I would also like to just make mention of the fact that we do have students who work in the library for us. In fact, we couldn't run the library without our student workers. So we are immensely grateful that we have students who work in the library. If you are thinking of an on-campus job, there's the URL here that you could check out and put in, um, put in an application so that's on file with us. All right, so as we wrap up, I just wanna remind you, um, ask us, right? Any questions that you have at all, please reach out. We are happy, happy, happy to help. That's what we're here for. And hopefully I gave you a good, quick introduction to the library. Take care.